If this is my high school letterman jacket, and I can guarantee you I'm like 100 pounds heavier than I was then. I do want to confess and say that I have both size large and extra large in this drawer. Like the extra large leggings, they're like all stretched out and like, I don't know if anyone can relate, but when you break in some leggings, like they're just magical. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Saturday, August 6th, and I have been decluttering my closet. So I started about maybe like 20 minutes ago, and I put a poll on Instagram asking if you guys wanted to see it or not, and it is hilarious to me that the guys are like, no, not really, and then the girls are like, yeah. So I'm gonna film it. Um, I did take a few clips on my phone, and I've gone through the first round, so I'll put those here. But now I'm going back into my closet and show you guys what's left. Okay guys, so I am about to declutter my closet. I have so many different sizes in here and I, it's just, yeah. For someone that does not like to have a ton of options, like my closet has slowly been expanding and I've had a hard time getting rid of things, but I think today I am finally, finally ready. And even here on the floor, um, these are some tops. I was gonna do a haul for you guys, but I actually don't like the way these fit. So I need to send all of this back. I am about to empty this closet and then go through and start getting rid of things to donate. And I don't know how this closet's showing up in the video, but it's really not that large at all. It's kind of a smaller walk-in. Like I can walk in but it's not that large which also means it's like another reason why it needs to be clean okay so i've only taken the first half out you can see there's still a ton left but like this is all the first half and i'm just gonna stop here in case i don't know about you guys but sometimes i start things and it seems like a really good idea and then i get tired and i don't finish so if i can at least get through this part today i'll be proud of myself empty the couch and this is all going to be donated. These I need to try on. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I'm still trying to debate if I'm gonna wear, continue to wear scrubs to work or regular clothes. Those are our kids. Those are the boys' jeans. This is what's left out of all that stuff that was on. I still feel pretty energized, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out another round. Let's do it. So what I'm gonna do now is take all of the stuff from the back wall and go through that. I also want to share with you guys that I am trying to go to more of a capsule wardrobe. So I've kind of decided like the color patterns that I like, the colors, I'm sorry. I've kind of decided on the colors that I like and then the pattern that I like are florals. So like these are like some basic colors. Like I like browns and pinks um, and I love florals. So once I have my capsule wardrobe complete, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. Like I'm not going completely minimal, minimal, but I am getting rid of a lot of things. Okay guys, I have salad in my mouth, but I thought this was so hilarious. Like this is my high school letterman jacket and I can guarantee you I'm like a hundred pounds heavier than I was then. <laughs> Let's go, let's go dragons, let's go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Progress, I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> All right guys, we have a problem. So this was a little um, closet thing that was donated to me given to me and it just fell over so i tried to pick it up but it wasn't oh my gosh okay it just totally cracked <laughs> okay so as you can see that is broken but i was trying on this dress which <laughs> buckle it up and everything but it actually fits it's kind of stretchy like, but I think I could wear it. I had so much fun trying on these clothes. Like some of them were too big. Some of them finally fit like this particular shirt here. And then some of them, I was just like, damn girl, you look good. <laughs> all right, so we've got all of those sections. Now we need to attack this session. 
this section here. Let's do it. Okay, so I just took everything out of here. But before I start going through all of that, I need to go pick up some lunch. I'm actually made dinner already. And I thought that the husband would take care of lunch, but he's actually not feeling great. He's actually lying outside, getting some sunshine. So, still haven't gone to the grocery store yet. Each. I haven't done any meal planning. So I'm just thinking of something. Taco Bell, don't judge, don't judge. We're gonna eat Taco Bell today. But when I come back, this is the pile that I need to sort through. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. And I just keep putting the clothes here because even though this is broken, once I go through it all, I'll just take everything from here and put back in my closet. You guys, this is a lot. Like, look at all these empty hangers. Oh my gosh. <sighs> the pal is growing. The donation pal is growing. Still determining what to do with my scrubs. These are all jeans that I need to try on. Um, one pair of shorts in here. I bought these from Target and I never wore them. I need to try them on to see what's going on there. Mm. Okay. All right, let's go back and grab some stuff from the closet. Before I go through the stuff in the closet, here are two baskets of clothes that I need to go through this too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so obviously you guys can see where it's been a little difficult to get dressed because I've had clothes of like so many different sizes, so many different styles. Um, also, I still have clothes in my closet from when I worked in corporate. So a lot of like dresses, like a lot of Ralph Lauren dresses, um, I don't need that stuff anymore. Like because it's like, to me there's a difference in like the corporate look when it comes to dresses and like church or baby shower. So like I don't need the dresses that look like mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't need those anymore so I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, and there's just a lot of stuff, oh my gosh. And I also feel like I'm kind of in a different phase of life so I also had like a lot of clothes for like volleyball games and stuff and I don't really need that. So like all the team shirts and stuff, I'm getting rid of those. Um, trying to think and I still don't know what I'm going to do for work like part of me feels like I kind of want to wear regular clothes to work but maybe do it in like a way of a capsule wardrobe like maybe have the same type of pants so I don't have to overthink it every day and then like a series of different tops that I can wear that are easy to wash and the only reason why I'm kind of thinking about moving out of scrubs is because I noticed that with scrubs, like you can gain, and if there are any healthcare providers out there or anyone else that wears scrub, scrubs for work, you can literally gain like 30 pounds and still <laughs> fit the same size scrubs. So I kind of feel that I'm at a point in my journey where I want a little bit of feedback like from regular clothes because ladies, you guys know, like you know how you look and feel in your clothing and you know like if there's a difference and i also want to feel a little bit more like dressed up i guess and i also don't want people thinking i'm the nurse like are you the nurse no i'm not the nurse i'm the therapist no shade to my nurses love y'all but when i show up i want them to know like it's time to work um so for work i'm basically wearing scrubs all the time and then you know I work out so I'm basically like living my life in scrubs workout clothes um, and pajamas you know like especially during the week like I'm not wearing regular clothes so I don't know I'll let you guys know when I decide but right now I am going to go through those baskets that I showed you so let's do that all right guys almost have an empty closet here Almost. 
This is my key for my wedding. So we're not getting rid of that, not yet. And then I can get rid of this. Actually, I can put it somewhere else. This is from when I tore my Achilles. See the floor? I'll show you guys something that I am having a hard time parting with. So this is my um, duathlon outfit, like when I was doing duathlons. So there's a couple reasons why. Like one, it's like when I was at a pretty athletic place in life. And two, these things are so expensive. Oh my gosh. Let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, this is my husband's outfit. Is this his or? Yeah, this is his, his racing outfit. Um, I may hold on to these. Ah, uh, this stuff is so expensive. And then here are a pair of my pants when I taught spin class. Again, why is specialty athletic equipment so expensive? I saw, oh yeah, there it is. What size were these? Medium. I'm currently a large. Uh, but different body though for sure what size was this holy cow that's one thing i remember this was a size large and i just remember um like being at a fit you know what i considered a pretty fit body and i was a size large i was like these things are made for small people what else is it here? oh these look like another pair of cycling pants gotta protect the booty yeah these are another pair of cycling pants bike pants oh um, actually I can start using this again this is this goes to my run belt hold on a second this goes to my run belt when I used to run like a ton of miles but now that I'm thinking about it I am walking like 10 miles at a time so I can start using this again and maybe that'll give me a little sense of like yeah, girl, you're still kind of athletic. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Isn't it crazy the way your mind <laughs> works sometimes? But I'm gonna hold on to this stuff. I don't know why I've been able to get rid of. You guys have seen like all of the other stuff I've gotten rid of, but I'm struggling with this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this because I think I'm holding on to it because there's a part of me that would love to be able to do another duathlon and wear that same outfit. Like, it's pink, it's, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, final answer. Holding on to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mop this floor, wipe everything down, wipe the dust bunnies down, and then start bringing things back in here. Okay, so we've got a clean floor empty closet I'm not one of those people that need my clothes to be like color coordinated because for me that's just not realistic I'm not gonna keep it that way um, but I am looking around to see like how I want to organize my clothes because usually I put usually I put my dresses like here but I'm thinking that but because I'm in this phase of like where I'm just feeling a little bit more I don't know I'm wearing more dresses I think I want to put them up front like over here and then maybe put my winter stuff like back here I don't know let me go grab some things and we'll see what to do with them okay I know this looks atrocious but this is all the stuff that I am getting rid of this will all be donated and then here are the things that are going back in my closet not this I don't want this robe I decided I don't want this robe because I only like certain cloths when I get out of the shower and this ain't it um so yeah these are the things that need to go back in my closet
wanted to share with you guys like these are like all of my packing cubes and I use these for like myself and the boys um, so what I'm gonna do is organize all of these and put them all inside of this larger one and then throw everything inside of this suitcase and just put this in my closet so extra bags and I also wanted to show you guys this is a little embarrassing but it is what it is this is um, a Vera Bradley bag that I love but to be honest with you it's such a gorgeous bag but when you fill it up it gets heavy so I'm putting all of my beach related stuff so like swimsuits cover-ups this is my swim cap these are for the boys I think my goggles are in there somewhere this is um, like a cooler lunch cooler that I like to take when we go to the beach or pool or whatever to put food and snacks in um, this is the beach bag that I enjoy taking like if it's just me or just me and my husband this is a larger bag for the entire family and yeah I have like tons of swimsuits in here so yeah I'm just gonna fill this up with all of the beach and swimsuit related pool stuff yeah here are my goggles I'm sure I have more swimsuits than the average person but like I told you guys I'm still shedding sizes and I need to actually wear a couple of those to see how they fit because to be quite honest even some of the ones I purchased from Sheen like a while back they're a little loose now but I'm not quite ready to buy new swimsuits and then I also have some swimsuits that were too small but now they fit so I just got to keep trying them out which I will be able to do because I will be going on a cruise soon. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, and remember, I live in Florida. So like, I actually wear the swimsuits. I do. All right, let's keep going. I also wanted to share that I went through my bags and these are some of the bags that I will be getting rid of. Um, yeah, and then I also went through my underwear and socks. And here's more stuff. I'm not donating that. I'm just going to trash that. And those are the bags we're getting rid of. And I'm also getting rid of these shoes. I'll probably call my mom and see if she wants them. Like, I never even wore those. I don't like heels. Just got to accept the fact that I don't. And this is a hair dryer. So I'll see if someone wants that. And... I also went through my fuzzy socks and matched all of those up. So those are the ones without matches and I'm pretty sure once I get rid of them, I'll find them, but it's okay. I don't really need more than one, two, three, four pair of fuzzy socks. Well, I also have one pair now, so that should be plenty. Here's the couch. I am slowly clearing it out, slowly, I'm getting there. All right, so something else I wanted to show you guys. In this container, I have my, um, you guys know I like walking, jogging outside. So these are my warm weather clothes. Like these are thermals, basically. Leggings, tops, and mittens, gloves. And then this is my raincoat. So I am putting that here in my closet because I don't need that to be in my drawer like for every day. When the weather gets cold, then I'll take this down and put these in my drawer and maybe put some of my shorts um, up there. All right, guys, so I want to show you really quickly what my closet finally looks like. So we walk into the closet starting up here. This is that tri suit I could not get rid of. This is a Michael Kors box. Um, it's empty, but I love it, so I kept it. <laughs> then my boots, and then those are my warm weather walking, outdoor walking, and running clothes. The Vera Bradley bag with like all of my swim gear, beach stuff, pool stuff. My suitcase. This is a like a I don't know how you explain those totes. Like the big huge oversized totes and i wasn't ready to get rid of it yet because i'm sure i'll use it for all kinds of things like events or just doing things storage all of that stuff 
and then handbags and then so let's go here I have my desk here where I can like now spend some extra time getting dressed in the morning and my closet floor is clean and empty mine is this one thing here which is where I am keeping all of my scrubs so yeah plenty of room there okay yeah this is much better <laughs> my phone allows me to film in 0.5 so um yeah so like here are all of my fancy fancy dresses um not a lot but just enough you know so that if i have to go somewhere then there we are and then long sleeve dresses and then we start getting into the shorter sleeve dresses um yeah and then we have like my sleeveless um t-shirt so like tank tops and things that i can't wear to work well i could but i would want to put on a sleeve with these so given that it's still hot here in florida <laughs> i am not wearing these to work because i don't want to wear a sleeve but maybe like when it gets a little bit cooler i'll wear these with like a blazer or cardigan or something like that so oh i did notice that i have a thing for black tank tops like but they're all different so i kept them <laughs> yeah anyways i don't know there's just something about a black tank and jeans that i love um yeah so these are all my little cute little shirts this has a sleeve to where i could wear it to work but it actually has a little plunge here that i'm not comfortable wearing to work because you guys know I'm a home health physical therapist and I lean over sometimes actually if I wore a black cami under there that would be fine yeah see you guys are helping me out I can wear a black cami because I just don't some of my patients especially my older guys like I don't like to leave chances for any confusion if you know what I mean um yeah and then I have my jeans here and I mentioned before that I was trying to decide if I would wear scrubs or like actual dress clothes to work. Well, I had a thought to myself like, Felicia, why does it have to be one or the other? Like you can wear both. So that's what I'll be doing. And what you guys don't see here is that I have these pants from like these Chino style pants from Old Navy that I'll be wearing as well with these tops. And I think I'll just do a video on that. They're a size 14, which is amazing for me. Very excited about that. But here are the tops that I can wear to work. Very work appropriate. So, yeah. And then as we go down, we get into, um, I have these jumpsuits. I love jumpsuits. Oh my gosh, they're just so easy, especially for travel. Um, and then we have like winter coats and just outerwear. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I do not like to be cold. So honestly, these are more so for like whenever I'm walking outside or just running to the store real quickly. Um, I like to wear these. Um, or if I'm working out in the garage and it may seem a little excessive, but I don't wash my clothes like a whole, whole lot. Like these things, I don't wash them a lot unless I need to. So like while one is drying out, like I have another, that's just what it is. Yeah. And yes. So I did keep some of the um, college and high school stuff just because I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. And then here are my belts. Oh, and then I will be wearing this for my long walks. It looks so good. It looks so good. I am so incredibly proud of myself, you guys. Like, this feels so fun. Like, coming in here to get dressed feels really fun. I'm so excited about it. Oh, before I go, I do want to show you guys what I did with my dresser drawers, just to give you an idea. Because I'm one of those people, all or nothing, which is why I don't touch sugar, because I just go crazy. I also decluttered my drawers, so let me show you what those look like as well. Here we go. 
So this may be a little TMI, but I know that I have mostly women that follow this channel. So here are like, you know, thong undies, and then these are like regulars, and then here are all of my bras, like in here. Um, so that's the top left drawer. And then right next to that, I put these little dividers in here. These came from Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, yeah, so I have like my gowns and pajama shorts or pants and then my 90s and then these are pajama sets so nice and neat i love this and it's so easy to just put things back where they go because right now believe it or not all of my laundry is done i have no dirty laundry in the house minus the clothes that i'm wearing and then in this drawer i have all of my workout shirts like these are all workout shirts from here back these are all my long sleeve tops these are short sleeve, but these are all long sleeve to protect me from the sun when I'm out walking. And all of my nicer tops are all hanging. So workout stuff is here. And next to that drawer are all of my sports bras. Now I will say I need to thin these out a little bit more. I have to be honest with you guys and tell you that since I started YouTube, like I did not have this many sports bras before, but I've been trying different things since I've been yeah since I've been on this journey I've just been trying different bras looking for different types of support and then different things between hiking walking running jogging lifting I, I'm, I'm still experimenting so I look forward to being able to thin those out and then all of my socks are here and my fluffy socks are all down here and I'm pretty sure I am not the only woman that has these, like these pads, they drive me nuts. Why do they come out of the bra? So like, I guess I'll figure out where they go when it's time to wear them. Like I just cannot sit there and fumble with these while doing laundry. No, not doing it. All right, and then here in my bottom drawer, these are all leggings and shorts. Like all workout gear it's a lot it's a lot i think it's one of those things where you don't realize how much you have until you actually go through it all um i do want to confess and say that i have both size large and extra large in this drawer like the extra large leggings they're like all stretched out and like i don't know if anyone can relate but when you break in some leggings like they're just magical <laughs> So I think it's like that whole comfort level and my my size large leggings they actually do fit so I could get rid of the XL I'll make that a goal like I'm just not quite ready to get rid of all of them yet but I'll make that a goal I'll continue on this journey and I'll try to make it a goal to um, get rid of the extra large leggings and then I'll have more room in the drawer so I'm pretty sure once I get rid of the XL that would be like not half but like a good chunk of what's in here and i did have to keep some comfy sweatpants because you know sweatpants <laughs> this is my final drawer where i have my um shorts like when i actually like get dressed yeah these are all of my shorts and again i live in florida but i do know i don't need like this many pairs of shorts so i will start to thin these out um, now that I know what I have and now getting dressed is just so much more fun oh my gosh you guys look at these oh these are so cute pink shorts I just could not get rid of them I'm keeping them they're really short but I look forward to wearing these on the cruise like I wouldn't wear these I wouldn't wear these in my hometown <laughs> I would probably wear these like on a cruise or somewhere but they're just so pink <laughs> i love them and i do have like some room so it's not completely full but i can go through and thin this drawer out a little bit more all right guys so that's all i have for this video this was so much fun for me i think i'm kind of finding my style a little bit so in future videos like not all back to back but in future videos i'll share with you guys like 
what I wear when we go on our cruise and I'll share with you guys like some of the outfits I'm putting together for work I'll just kind of like space them out because um because I think when you're on this weight loss journey like there's just so many aspects to it all right guys so that's all I have for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye